tips. And today I am going to show you how to make a presentation for your final project fiber. Now this is your title page and the background is white. There should be no animation, nothing. Now you have to provide the title here. And this is your uh, institute logo. Then you have to provide the names of your guides or supervisors. Title page, you have to make content page. In the content page, you have to include the, all the contents, whatever you have written in the presentation or whatever you have included in the presentation. In my case, I have included introduction, literature review, materials and methods, results and discussion, conclusions, references and publications. This is my first section, introduction section or you, my first chapter. Now, within this first section or first chapter, I have many subheadings. Suppose energy scenario of the world this is first sub heading so this is first chapter one so the first heading will be 1.1 then suppose uh, I, I can go to the second sub heading so this is my second sub heading so i have given numbering 1.2 so similarly you have to provide numbering for all the sub headings now coming back in the slide in a slide you have to provide only a few bullet points based on those bullet points you have to elaborate the things you should not uh, put a lot of things in the slide only a few bullet points then elaborate the things now figures you have to you may have to include figures in your presentation so this is a figure i have included here so again like the heading subheadings i have also given numbering to the figures so it is in figure and uh, this figure is in chapter one and this is this figure is number one so i have given numbering figure 1.1 that means this figure is number one figure in chapter number one or section number one so like this way i have to number other figures also there are lots of other figures so i have given numberings accordingly so you have to give numbering and one thing more that this thing if this figure is not yours suppose this uh, figures you have taken from some other sources then you have to provide the reference so this number nine is nine is provided in the reference section i will discuss it later on now next thing let us go to next slide this is your next slide you can see this figure 1.3 then figure 1.4 reference is 9 figure 1.5 reference is 9 figure 1.6 reference 9 figure 1.7 figure 1.7 then this is another section 1.2 i have already discussed how to give the numbering this is figure 1.8 this is figure 1.9 this is figure 1.10 this is figure 1.11 now another important thing is table here you, you can see this is a table so you have to include sometimes tables in your presentation so this table has been borrowed from some text so i have given reference like this so this is the renewable energy potential in assam i have taken this uh, table or borrowed this table from other text so that text is in uh, reference number 10 in reference section and again you have to provide the table numbering here this is table 1.5 i have provided the table number here 1.5 that is this table is in, in chapter 1 or section 1 and it is number it is having number 5 this table 1.5 means 
in this table is in section or chapter one and the number five figure uh, number five table so so this way i have included many tables these are the tables these are the tables this is another section 1.4 this is continuing then it is another section this is 1.5 this is 1.6 resources of biodiesel production these are the tables again these are the tables table number is 1.9 then i have given the title of the table then the reference numbers and in those numbers you will find the text and address of the text then again this is another table then this is another heading or another section subheading so this way introduction part is done or finished review is my second chapter now let us know what is literature review in literature review i have included previous literature research literature pertaining to my topics let us consider you are developing a machine so same kind of machine has been developed by previous researchers also so you have to study their work and include in your studies and you have to find out gap in the in their resources performance let us say emission performance of a diesel engine so in diesel engine emits carbon monoxide carbon dioxide this is another subheading so this is 2.5 within 2.5 this is first subheading, uh, subheading. so it will be 2.5.1 suppose uh, uh, next is NOx emission suppose it will be 2.5.2 this way it will go you will see here this is 2.5.2 nitrogen oxides this is another kind of emission from diesel engine in previous one uh, we have discussed carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxide is also a part of uh, diesel engine emission so that is why uh, i have included in it it in 2.5.2 so this way you can give um, uh, numbering to the uh, subheadings of a heading this is gap analysis so after uh, after studying uh, all the previous uh, authors you will find some kind of gap in their research and within that gap you can do a lot of things suppose in your case you are developing a machine same kind of machine has been developed by others also so you have to study those machines also and find out what is lacking in their machines and what you can give from your side or what you can innovate in uh, in your case and that will be your research topic so this thing this research topic can be derived from the gap analysis objective of current research that after finding out the gap you have to set the objectives of your project so you have to set the various objectives generally uh, when you write objectives you have to write like this to determine something to determine this to determine that to determine that so this way you have to write the objectives after literature review i have materials and methods as the chapter number three this is a uh, first heading so i have to give number 3.1 like the introduction and literature review so this these are the figures this is figure number 3.1 so this is figure number one in chapter number three this is figure number two in chapter three so that is why it is figure 3.1 and this is figure 3.2 similarly i have given numbering of various figures you can include animated figures like this this is good 
and you have to provide uh, table numbers like this this is table number one in chapter three table number one in chapter three and you have to provide uh, the table uh, uh, title of the table at the uh, center uh, and uh, on the top these are the figures this is another heading 3.4 another heading 3.5 then yeah, figures these are animated figures another sub heading heading under heading that means 3.5.1 yeah. then you have next sub heading is 3.5.2 these are a heading under heading under heading 3.5 this viscosity is coming in the third heading this is another figure this is another figure you can draw this kind of figure in draw.io uh, this is uh, open source software uh, you have to install only chrome and in the chrome itself you can draw this type of figure this is another table again the table should be at the center this is another figure the figure uh, figure number should be visible easily but uh, yes it is okay but it is you can give it should be visible this is another table this is last heading okay this is last heading fourth chapter I have included various findings in my results and discussions. So these are my findings. This is an, uh, this is a figure. This is figure number 4.1. This is a first figure in chapter um, 4. And this is heading 4.2. So this is second heading in the chapter number 4. So these are the figures. You can see the figures like this. You can see figures under the heading 4.4. Then again, I have given subheadings. Within this subheading, you will see these figures. Figures now, figure numbers have been given. Figure titles have been also given. These are the uh, figure numbers with titles. And I have given some tables here these are for uh, analysis purposes these are another set of results under heading 4.4.3 uh, this is under subheading this is another figure as uh, uh, sorry another heading 4.5 within that subheading nitrogen oxide I have given the figures. These are for analysis purpose. This is heading 4.5.3 subheading. These are the figures. This is heading 4.5, and these are the figures. Figure number has been uh, figure numbers have been given. Titles have been given as per the standard or as per the format. Chapter number five is for conclusions. Uh, here you can see a lot of bullet points. In within the uh, within those bullet points, I have written a lot of things. But you have to keep in mind that this has this is this presentation was for PhD viva. So in PhD, uh, within five or six years, we do a lot of things. So we have to include those things. That is why this is a bit uh, flooded with information. Now, in case of your BTEC,
project you will not have that much of info uh, that much of results so only a few results so you have to include those uh, results as a bullet points then these are the bullet points my bullet points then you have to include future scope in future scope you can write uh, suppose you have you wanted to do something but could not do uh, do due to some uh, uh, unavoidable circumstances so you can write those things here reference section reference is not a chapter so simple reference will do here i have provided references as for guwahati university format now you can write references as per itfully format chicago format and other formats also but you have to follow whatever your university or college follows for reference so you have to check the regulation and as per the regulation you have to follow the style of referencing now i'll go very quickly through these references because there are lots of references these are the publications so you can include uh, names of your publication suppose you have um, written some article in journals so you can include those articles here suppose you have attended some kind of conferences and presented paper you can include those articles also so with that thank you